All right, everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ronald, and welcome back. I am happy that everything is clicking in the right cylinders with my fantasy football league. Yes, I said it, and I said it strong, and I'm saying it good, and I'm saying it clean and clear. Everything is moving in the right direction in my fantasy league. I started off sluggish, losing, losing. Losing, losing. That's right, I said it. Losing. I went 0 and 5. Starting off, and then I just won my five games. That's right, I am now 5 and 5, baby. And I'm stirring it up. In fantasy football, yes. Let's go ahead and get into the highlights of my team. And let's go ahead and go over the scores of what they did. And how I got this victory. All right, let's do this. All right, everybody, as you see, Team Clean Sky, old Big Daddy Me, that's me. 8702 to Team Robert, 76 and 98. Yes, tough game. I edged them about 8.79 points, about 8.74 points. It was tough, but I got the win. I got the victory. All right, let's go into the highlights of this great win here. Yes, sir. As you see, Team Robert 7698 got spanked by old Big Daddy Me Team Clean Sky 8702. Now he has some, 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 some good, good players here but I held on strong I held tight and I kept it good kept my faith in myself and what and my list I had here you know wasn't pretty but it did what it did uh, Jimmy Garoppolo played the Rams they won 31 to 10 the Rams won 31 to 10 He's projected to get 15.5. He got 15.38. James Robinson from Jacksonville. I, I definitely got to get this boy here. You know, um, Irvin Myers got that team rolling in the right direction. A new team, new starters, new everybody. But James Robinson got 18.4. Naeem Hines got 4.9. A.J. Brown got... 3.3. Marquez Brown got 9.7. TJ Hawk Hawkinson got zero. Tyler Lockett got 4.3 as his flex. The Bulls defense wasn't having it as they spanked them Jets 45 to 17. They scored 11 points. And James Sanders of Miami got 10 points, which giving them a total of 76.98. Now he was ejected to score 114.4, but he didn't. 76.98. Now his bench, Alvin Cameron, zero. Nick Chubb, zero. Kyler Murray, zero. Damian Haynes, zero. William Fuller, zero. Jamal Williams, zero. And Tyler Clark. Cochran, 16.1. That's his only, all his bench did was 16.1. Which is somewhat good because I think some of these players was all on bye weeks. But um, they coming back and he should be able to get his win next week. Now coming on my side. Yes, sir. Lamar Jackson. Now, it was a shocking because I thought Lamar Jackson was going to go ahead and at least get me 35 to 45 points. But the Miami defense kept the Baltimore Ravens in check, offense in check. As he was supposed to check the 25.7, but I thought he was going to get more than that. 45 to 50 points. I thought he was going to go ahead and air it out deep and burn that secondary of the Dolphins. But... The Dolphins defense held it together. Kept him at bay at 15.42. Melvin Gordon supposedly got me 12.5. 12 12 he got 9.3, which is good. 
because he almost got me 10 points. Now, Mike Davis, he played for Atlanta as Dallas spanked them. 43-3. He got me 1.8. Jalen Water is coming on as a wide receiver. He got me 10.1. Jacoby Myers. 14.9. That's another good receiver that's coming on. So these two will be on my team next year. Noah Font. This is another good tight end. He's going to be on my team next year. He got me 10.9. Now. Here's the thing here, because I almost messed up, <clears throat> big time. I was finna go ahead on there, put in. Brandon Cooks was on a bye week. It was a wide receiver that I was finna put in the game. No, I know what it was. I was finna put King and Drake in. He must have been 5.1. But instead, I went with the uh, um, Las Vegas Raiders. I went with Hunter Renfro, which was a good choice, a good option. He got me 17.6. The Buck defense struggled as they lost 29-19. Got me 6 points. Chase McLaughlin. New England put it to the um, Browns as they spanked the Browns 45 to 7, which he was only held to a extra point, one point, which gave me a total of 87.02. I was suggested to score 113.3, but I didn't. Now, coming to my um, bench, Rob Gronkowski sat out with back spasm when he got zero. Tom Brady struggled, 13 points. Chris Carson, which I finally agree to let go because he's on injured reserve, zero points. Brandon Cook had a bye week, zero points. Kenyon Drake had 5.1. Now, this is where I made my mistake because I thought Elana was going to, you know, beat the Cowboys by at least three to 10 points. No. I love 22 points on the bench. My bad. But I held on anyway to win. But I could use them 22 points as them Cowboys stampeded those Falcons 43 to 3. That defense was relentless. Interceptions, block, block punt, um, force, force fumbles. Dumb boys was loose. And they are going into the game next week. Will they produce the same? Who knows? But I went to sleep on this defense because I thought the Falcons was going to edge the Cowboys by 10 points. Matt Ryan was going to air it out nastily on that defense. I thought Matt Ryan was going to have like 400 and something yards with maybe three to five TDs. No. That defense thrashed. Them Falcons. And I was shocked. I love 22 points on the bench, but you never know. Because this is why I went by here 6.9 to 4.7, but the boys out muscled. Yes, they did. Which gave me a whole total from benches 40.1 points to hit 16.1 points. Now, with that said, I will be making some changes up because, like I said, I'm getting rid of Chris Carson because I need to go ahead on and get my tight end because he's going on about week next week. So I need to go ahead and Chris Carson is, 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 is day to day. So I'm going to be letting him go as of today. Um, Gronkowski staying. He might come back, but if his progression is like the same for two, for two games, he's gone. So, it is going to be a big, big, hard decision of what I hate to get rid of Chris Carson, but for three, four games straight, he has not been averaging anything but sitting the bench, and I do not like that at all. So, moving up, 
I got the win. I am now five and five. I'm third in the East, and I'm happy. Now let me correct that. I am fourth in the East, but I am tied with Team Roberts because we both five and five. I am moving up, and just like I said, I'm I'm, I'm making some heavy noise right now, and I thought it was gonna be <laughs> winless. Go straight out the season with not a win, but everything turned around for the best. I just hung in there. I, I took the punishment. Week after week after week after week. I went five week winless and I went five week gaining some wins. So now I'm five and five and I'm still alive, baby. And I'm making some noise in the East. Let's do this. Now let's go over the rest of the scores and highlights. Alrighty. In the crapper D Martini beat Team Fritz 127.42 to 122.34. Team Twos spanked Team Thick Pen 123.44 to 92.64. D Hot Quality H2O spanked Team Virgo 114.26. To 94.58. And last but least, Team Powell loses against Night Crawlers 145.34 to 74.7, which puts him back on the losing streak. He got his win. I give that, I give Team Powell credit. I give him 100% because he was, he was just like me. We were losing back to back, back to back. And we didn't know why. And um, he mustered out his first win. Then he's back on his losing streak. So like I said, it's a set up and down scenario in the uh, in the fantasy league. I mean, look at look at that Prescott. I'm glad that glad he's back from his rough, nasty injury from last year. And he mustered in 26.34 as Justin Hubert. 12 points. Wow. That boy shutting charges down. Aaron Jones did his thing. 12.6. Jonathan Taylor. 24.5. Wow. That's a monster back right there. Um, Chase Edmonds was on the bye week. I don't think he was. Uh, I think he was injured anyway, but he got no points. To Daryl Henderson Jr. 8.1. Kareem Allen, 17.8, 22.9 for Justin um, Jefferson. It's not that, okay. Good wide receiver for Minnesota. Julio Jones, oh my God, was kept in check. As he got zero to C to C D Lamb, 28.6. Travis Kalis, 19.9. That's a tight end. As you know, McHolmes um, always uses it, look for his tight ends in the end zone. Against Mark Andrews, that's another good tight end for Baltimore, 18.3. Darren Waller, 6.4 as they flex. Their flex is DeAndre Schiff, Detroit running back with 16.5. Cardinals defense, muscled in three points. Browns defense, minus six points. Nick Foe, nine points. Graham Gaino, zero points because he was on the bye week. Yes. Now... Everything is in full check. Let's go to my league. Let's go to the league. And let's go to the full standings. Alrighty. On the East End, Team Fritz still holding it with eight wins, two losses. D Hot Quality H2O, six wins, four losses. Team Roberts and I are tied at five wins and five losses. I'm at the 500% mark. I'm in fourth place. My playoff percentage is going up. I'm at nine, and Team Furco dropped to four and six, and his playoff percentage is at four. On the West End, in the Crapper D Martini is seven and three. Nightcrawler is five and five. Team Thigpen is five and five. Team Twos is four and six, and Team Pal is one and nine. Wow. Yep, as I as you said, I'm doing my thing and I'm doing it right. And everything keep going. 
This season is going to be real tight. I'll probably be in the first round playoffs. And I can't complain about that. As long as I get to the playoffs, I'm all good, happy, and dandy. That's what I'm fighting on. First round seed playoffs. I ain't going to get to the big championship title. Because, you know, I started off sluggish. But I picked up five wins. And I plan on picking up some more straight out to the end of the season. Alrighty. If everything goes good, I might be um, 12 and 5 or 11 and 6 because I got a tough game coming up ahead of me, so I got to get prepared for that. And um, let's who, who's my who I play next. Let's go back to the scoreboard. Alrighty, I played Team 2, who is 4 and 6, and I am 4, 5 and 5. Now he got Patrick Mahomes. I don't know. I might put Tom Brady in, or I might just go ahead on and um leave Mahomes, um, leave Jackson in the game. That's a big tub. Um, Brandon Cooks is coming back in. Um, I don't know. I got to go ahead and look at the receiver spot because I might go ahead and put um um friend um friend low in the game for the Raiders. Or I just might um, leave Myers in the game. So I got a lot of thinking, a lot of decisions to do. I might just keep Myers in the game and leave Fenero in the game and um, and put Waddle. But them boys been playing their hearts off. And I, and I hate to make that change up. But um, I can't go wrong with that at all. So other than that, um, it's going to be a good game, a tough matchup. Um, for week 11, we're going to have me playing Team Tools, um, Team Freckle play Team Fitz, and the crap of the Martini play Team Pal. Oh, it's going to be a tough game right there. It's going to be easy game for in the crap of the Martini. I hope not. I hope that Team Pal could upset in the crap of the Martini, but we'll see. Um, D Hawk Quarte H2O play Team Roberts and Team Thick Brand play Night Quarters. So, yes, everything is shaking up in the uh, fantasy football. Yes, it is. And I'm coming on hard and strong. Yes, yes, yes. And can I go wrong with that at all? Um, in week one, I'm going to go ahead on before I close this segment. I'm going to go ahead on how bad everything started off in week one. I lose this 158 to 76 to 131 to 56. Team Robert takes the win. Um, moving on to week two, um, that puts me at 0 1. In the crap of D Martini, 140.62. As I lose this to 138.54, that put me at 0 and 2. In week three, Again, D high quality H2 roll just rolled over me 121.44 to 87.58. That put me at 0 and 3. Moving right along to week 4. And Team Fritz just dem demoralized me 150.92 to 63.76. That puts me at 0 and 4. Alright, week 5. Here we go. Team Furco just gave me a spank down as he spanked me 136.46 to 107.54. 0 and 5. Moving on to week 6. This is where everything started turning around. I spanked Team Thick Pan 123.08 to 104.06. 1 and 5. Week 7. Me jumping on top of um, Nightcrawlers 118.64 to 107.42, 2 and 5. Week 8. Team Pog gave me a run for my money, and he got a good team. And I'm not saying he got crappy players, but he, he, he gave me a run for my money. And I edged the win out to 95.8 to 82.32. That puts me at three and five. Week nine. 
as old big daddy me rolled over team furco 108.24 to 98.72 that was another tough game i etched it out and i did my thing Alrighty, that puts me at four and five week 10 As you see me, I edged out, 80, uh, edged out Team Roberts 87.02 to 76.98. That gift puts me at 5-5. Five and five. 10 games. I'm coming along strong. I'm 5-5. Five and five, And I'm going to keep this winning bracket going strong and going smooth. Just like I said, I got a tough game ahead of me. I got to make some changes. I got to think about it. Um, just like I said, I'm going to go ahead on and see if I can find me another tight end. Um, cause I got um funt going on a bye week, and if Grunk don't show no signs of improvement, I will be getting rid of Grunk as well too. So I'm ready for um week 11. As you see, I got to go a big game ahead of me, and I play against Team Twos. So now we on week 11. We got. Um, this it makes one, two, three, four more games left. Then we'll be into the playoffs. So we'll make it so we're not. I got my fingers crossed because these last four games going to be tough games for me. In week 11, you know, I play Team Furco. Week 12, I play Oak, play D High Quality H2O. And yeah, he gave me a spank down. I want to go ahead and return that favor back to him as I give him a spank down. Week 13. I play Team Fritz. He's eight and two. He gave me a spank down. I like to turn that favor as well too. In week fourteen, oh, I play in the crap of D Martini. Those three might be wins. Those three might be losses. But I got my big cross because I'm gonna go ahead and make some noise, and I'm gonna do my thing. Alrighty, go ahead on in. Enjoy this great segment here to my lovely viewers out there who took the time to watch this here. Thank y'all for watching as I go over my fantasy football results with ESPN, the number one sports station in town. Yes, sir. They put the sports up. They clean. They do it smooth. I've been with them boys since 06. And yes. And they got all the right mixes and fixes for your sports from NFL, NBA, Major League Baseball, Hockey, Soccer, and National College Football. Yes, they got it all. So y'all go ahead and make sure y'all tune in to ESPN for y'all latest scores and highlights. And enjoy what ESPN do. I want y'all to give me thumbs up. Go ahead on and click the give me them thumbs, give me all of them, give me, give me, give me, give me. If y'all like that video segment, um, go ahead and subscribe to my channel for more great content coming your way. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.